Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Calorie Crush. Last week you remember I, well not last week but the week before really, I told you that I was stepping up my calories and last week I reiterated why. This week I have been working with that calorie budget of 2,231. Now on Wednesday of last week I abandoned any idea of calorie counting whatsoever. A lovely day out, I went out with Lex, there is a vlog coming up for that. We had lunch out and then we went to the Rocky Horror Picture Show outdoor cinema in the evening and we took a picnic and I took a very beige picnic. My bit of the picnic was extremely beige. I like a quiche. I do like a quiche. And then there was some savoury eggs which weren't very nice actually and some Pringles and some dip and just very beige picnicky stuff and it's all such stuff that I avoid when I am counting calories. So I avoid quiche, I try and have those nice frittatas instead and they're lovely but they're not a bloody quiche because I like pastry. I just threw caution to the wind and I had a very nice evening, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Apart from that I stayed within my calorie budget every single day and was considerably under on Saturday however I used up the ones I had left over on Saturday on Sunday if you see what I mean. I ended the week about 300 calories over budget for the entire week which means I kind of made up some of the damage that I'd done on the Wednesday if you see what I mean. I'm finding it much easier to stay around 2000 knowing that I have 2231. It's, it's, and I, I know it's a weird psychological thing, and I know it's, and I know there's people going, why, well, you're only kidding yourself, but the, f the fact is, if I can kid myself, then I win. <laughs> if I can kid myself into eating better, then I'm still the winner at the end of it. I am finding it much easier to hover around. Well, I said, somebody did sum it up in the comments, and I can't remember who it was, so I'm sure you'll know if it was you. Basically, my, the way my mindset had been was that I'm only allowed 2,000. Well, I've eaten 2,100 now, so that's it, I've blown it, I might as well go and eat another 1,000. And that's what I was doing. The little bit that I had blown it by was the trigger and the excuse to blow it completely. And I know there's no bloody sense in that. We've talked before about if you had a flat tyre on one side, you wouldn't go around and slash the other three, would you? I know this, I know this. And I've always known it, but it doesn't stop me actually doing it. Oh, well, I've buggered it. Oh, well, I might as well do what I want. Oh, well, I've gone slightly over. It's the same psychological thing that stops me eating bad food early in the day. So I have 2,000-ish calories now, yeah? And there is absolutely no reason why I should not have a slice of vanilla sponge cake for breakfast, 500 calories, and still eat perfectly well within a calorie deficit for the rest of the day. But I wouldn't. If I had vanilla sponge cake for breakfast, all those years of programmed dietary beliefs would say to me but well, that's it now you've eaten badly today you've had bad food you've had bad food and because you've had bad food what the hell is the point of trying now you might as well have some more bad food and start again tomorrow that is a i suppose in some ways it's a slimming world mindset but it's a it's a pre-programmed diet mindset and go oh well you've buggered it start again tomorrow oh well you've buggered it start again tomorrow if i don't have that vanilla sponge cake until nearly bedtime I don't have the rest of the day to make that excuse to myself, to, to, to derail myself in that way. I think I'm even less articulate this week than usual. <laughs> what I'm saying is the reason I don't eat badly first thing in the morning is because I know that I will eat badly all day. Even if I could have eaten badly first thing in the morning and still kept it within deficit. Does that make any sense? Tell me if I'm not making any sense. And I'm not sure where, how I got to that from where I was. The point being that I had a day when I didn't stick to plan didn't care about plan didn't it didn't and, and i and i have balanced it out over the rest of the week with my calorie intake have a look at the scales result from this morning and we'll go from there last week i weighed 277 and a half pounds it's monday it's, it's scales time Two seventy-seven point eight. I ran that up to two seventy-eight. So I have gained half a pound. Am I okay with it? I suppose I have to be, don't I? I feel a bit kind of like, but I stayed within the calories for the rest of the week, so that shouldn't have happened. And that's the job. I'll be back. It was a parcel. It wasn't even for me. I don't know what I was saying. I've lost my lost my thread. I don't know. Oh, I know. I was going to say. All the, 
all the usual excuses that come into my head about why have I gained half a pound if I don't feel like I should have done, it's time of the month again. I'm bloated again, it's been very hot, all of those things. I don't know, it could be some of those things, it could be the fact that I ate too much, it could be the fact that I ate the wrong things, it could be, whatever. I gained half a pound, so I'm very out of breath from running down to the door. I gained half a pound and it is what it is. I need to take off my little half and change it for a one. No, that's the wrong way around. I need to take off my little half, that was it. I nearly gave myself more than I deserved then. So my weight loss to date is seven stone four pounds. I definitely feel better about being on a diet with a slightly less tight restraint. It's been a very difficult week heat wise. I've had a lot of people say oh it's too hot to eat. For me it's not too hot to eat it's just too hot to think about food which leads to poor choices I think doesn't it. If it's too hot to think about food I'll just have that I'll just have that. But I do know I'm very sick of salad now. I haven't fancied anything else but I don't fancy that either now so that's an interesting one. I am definitely less articulate today. I'm more discombobulated today, possibly because it's time of the month, possibly, you know, brain fog, all the rest of it. I toyed with the idea of not carrying on with the calorie crush videos. Because I feel like I'm not contributing anything by doing them. This was never supposed to be a weight loss channel. For those of you who have joined since I began doing these, if you go back to my very first video, you'll, say, you'll see that the very first video I did about my weight, you'll see that I'll say that one of the reasons I never did this before is because I never wanted this to be a weight loss channel. This is just a me channel. It's not, it's not a channel that fits into a specific category. It's just here, here I am, here's what I've been doing. That's, that's what this channel is. And because trying to lose weight was one of the things I'd been doing, it became one of the things I videoed. But I don't feel like what I'm putting out is of any real point at the moment all I'm doing is going I haven't really lost much weight I've lost a little bit I haven't lost any I've put a bit on I've lost it you know the yo-yoing thing is it really worth documenting that but if I stop will I stop trying I don't know that either but yeah I've toyed with the idea of uh of just giving up on doing the calorie crush videos not giving up on trying to lose weight but giving up on doing the videos and I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't and then I am denied about whether I should go back to doing the food diary, but I have quite enjoyed not pointing the camera at my plate three times a day. So, I don't know. I didn't expect to talk about this. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to say this until it started coming out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What's in the week coming up? Where are we now? Um, it's Monday the 15th today. Nothing much in this week coming up of any interest, no no events, no no real sticking points of any kind, nothing going on at all really. Next week I'm going away for a couple of days so that's always a little bit more, not difficult but more challenging, is ch challenging is a good word isn't it, challenging. I have nothing, absolutely nothing of any value to say at this point in time whatsoever. Thank you so much for wasting what 10-15 minutes of your life watching me talk about nothing I appreciate you very much I'll be back next week I think take care bye for now